we have in general now. So we have Dom Top, which is this one, with the hologram gold realness. We have Shiny, and then we have Wonder Gel, and then we have Velvet, but Velvet doesn't count because Velvet is matte finish. So I'm going to show you. So look at that. It's very thick and rich, honey-like viscosity. So when you apply Dom Top, you want to float it on the nail, okay? You don't want to rub it on like you would a thinner gel top coat, like frosting a cake. And then shiny, I mean, you girls have already seen shiny. You already know, look at that. She's got that drip. I see another one for fantasy pink. And then wonder gel is in between because wonder gel is a rubber gel top coat. I see another one for fantasy. So for today, we're going to use the sculpted oval. to see beautiful I see another one for penthouse it's so hard to choose right I thought of penthouse because I was watching a documentary on HBO yesterday about Heidi Fleiss so Dom top is a gel top coat that I've been working on for a really long time formula wise it's actually very similar to shiny um, it's they're like uh, not identical sisters, they're paternal twins, not identical twins. So formulation wise, it's very similar, but it has that really thick viscosity. Why did I make a gel top coat with a thick viscosity? Let me explain. So when you're doing a design work with a lot of bigger things or um, st a lot of stickers, a lot of sequins, a lot of things that can have edges and things that go bump and create little little divots. Dom Top will fill those in and give you a really seamless surface structure. Make sure we squeeze out all those bubbles. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, lovely. We're gonna bake her for one minute inside the dazzling gardening lamp. So when you're working with a lot of stickers and you really want to encapsulate the design, or for example, if you're working with Icy Patch or cat eye colors and you want to give the nail volume you want to give the design volume you want to give the design depth and you want to give the, it's almost like a magnifying glass right for example a magnifying glass kind of creates a rounded out text uh, surface that gives the thing underneath depth and dimension it almost makes it look more 3d that's the same effect you're going to get with the dom tom so it'll add dimension and it'll add um volume to the nail without making it bulky And of course it has all the properties that you already know and love from enalcouture.com products like it won't yellow, it won't chip or peel, and it also, um, if you're natural nail, if you're using it on natural nails and they are uh, a bit on the thinner side and you want something that feels more stiff and something that feels more firm, something that's really rock hard, Down Top will do that for you. Is that one minute? I don't even notice. So that is the reason why we made a thicker gel top coat. So let us shape this fantasy. Actually, I don't even need a 100 grit file, this one's too coarse. And then of course, the slip solution, her name is Glide. So that way she glides on your gels light butter and it's also a great way to keep your gel brushes moist because if you use your gel brushes a lot and you clean them with alcohol alcohol will dry them out because alcohol is a dehydrator it won't moisturize the brush and even if the brush is synthetic we still want to keep her nice and moist we want to keep it from fraying out And it will make the experience of doing a poly-like nail extension gel more like acrylic because it feels just like acrylic. 
And then we're gonna blend in that cuticle. We're gonna use the flame bit today. Hello! And just really gently around the cuticle. And that's all you have to blend in. So now let's go in with the purple buffer. Remove the top shine off the nail. So you guys want to know what I have on my pink ones? So I can uh, go over it really quickly so that way you guys can replicate it if you want. Oops. I was telling everybody on Instagram too, I did these nails on my mom too not that long ago. If you guys remember the ones I did with um, Venus and all those, Mona Lisa. And I was like, how come they look so fat on her? They look short and fat and on me they look super like long. And the girls on Instagram were like, it's because your hands are long and skinny. And I was like, I don't think they are, but... Hi, Max. Hi, Mama. Hi from Massachusetts. So humid, oh my gosh. Hi, Ness. So we're going to use our beautiful A Pink 12, which is the Milky White Base Gel. It's a rubber gel. Remember, guys, it's a three-in-one, so it not only is a color, it is a base coat, it is a rubber base coat, it does a nail strengthener. She's got many tricks. Look at that color. Isn't that natural? I'm obsessed with this color, you guys. She's like, I'm your Vivid Girl! Yes, I named it after Vivid Entertainment. Not after, but like an homage, because since I grew up in the 90s, I grew up obsessed with that really like vixen y, sex pot, fantasy, Pamela Anderson, Anna Nicole Smith, Jenna Jameson. That big blonde hair, the long nails, fantasy. I just love it. So it is an homage to those ladies. Beautiful. Back when Playboy was relevant. Ugh, I loved the girls next door. That was my show. We're gonna bake this for 30 seconds. Do you guys remember the girls next door? Wasn't that show so dope? Kendra. Oh, how she laughed. <laughs> Love that era. I hope it comes back. Except for the super thin eyebrows. I'm not sure about those, but the hair was so big you couldn't even see the eyebrows. Now it's okay. Awesome. See, now the comments are going all cuckoo. Let me uh, look it up on my other phone. She was the realist. Hello, dear. Hi, Mr. Carter. So we're going to go in with BB Ombre 66. We're going to layer it on top of this color. Just to give you that really pretty sparkly fantasy. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, it's like giving me frothy milkshake, cinnamon roll fantasy. So lovely. So we're gonna bake this for 30 seconds. Hi 
Hi from New Mexico. Hi, Mama. Did you know who Vanessa Del Rio was? Hello, well, my friend always says, hey, Del Rio. Who was Vanessa Del Rio? She was pre vivid. She was one of those girls. Hi, Miss Melanie. Hopefully, you have a speedy recovery. We're all going to wish you the best and keep you in our prayers. So now we're going to do a nice little layer of shiny. Super thin because we're going to use this layer to adhere our stickers. Nice and thin. Beautiful. Let's bake it for 10 seconds. Let's get our stickers ready. So busy, you guys, interviewing people via email. And then in person, I had one today. I'm glad somebody showed up. Is she the right fit? I don't know. I have to pray about it. So here are my cute cat stickers. Hi, Mama. Pink Army's here. What colors did you use on top? So the thumb is a pink number 12, and then I used BB66 on top. Yes, BB66. And then these pink ones are a pink number one with BB Ombre 57, which is from the Real Diamonds collection. Melanie McGree, add me, add me up. When are the mini dropping? to wait and see but very soon let's get our little tools ready for the stickers green is super popular right now in russia actually i am developing a green color right now called paradise that you will see soon so which little kitty cat should we do on my thumb <laughs> i have this one on these two Maybe a little brown teddy bear? What do you guys think? Where did all that dust come from? And that's when you know you have a good sticker, when you have a hard time taking it off. Apply the sticker, take our silicone tool, and press, whoops, slowly and firmly, just like the pointer sisters say, a uh, man with a slow hand. I know we want to do this fast and get it over with, but if you do it fast, you're more than likely to get bubbles or wrinkling, and we don't want any of that in the fantasy. So take your time and press firmly and rub a dub dub. And then you will not have any issues. Oh, 
Oh, Peaches is here. My little baby Peaches. And Peaches is actually pregnant, you guys. Fantastic Fowl will be closer towards the winter, unfortunately. This is the unicorn sticker. Look at that. Doesn't that create a really beautiful composition? It's all about adding layers and depth to the fantasy. I love bunnies. I love Playboy bunnies. And I was born the year of the bunny. Take the silicone tool and press nice, slow, firm. Hi from Australia, thanks for watching today. Oh my god, you're gonna love the dumb talk. Isn't that adorable? Como toses, no tomas de agua. So now we're going to take a little bit of our primer to melt the edges. You guys already know this trick. Very, very gently, very, very lightly, and sparingly over the entire nail surface. Just like that. Do you guys want to see what Peaches looks like? Let me know in the comments below before they take her outside. Little baby Peaches. She's my hairless dog. She's a miniature Chinese crescent. I see one yes. I see two yeses. Third time's charm. I see three. Okay going to turn the camera around really quickly or I'll just take it off the tripod there's peaches with my dad ah, darn fly peaches little baby peaches say hi peaches aww pobrecita la peaches 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 and as you guys can see she's hairless that's little baby peaches right there
What do you guys think of peaches? So now we're going to apply our first layer of Dom Tom. Isn't she adorbs? She's tight, she's pregnant. So we're going to do our first layer of Dom Tom. So when you apply Dom Tom, you want to float it on the nail, okay? You don't Put it on like you would a regular gel top coat. You want to glide it on almost as if it was a builder gel. Beautiful. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of sequence here and there. We're going to add a little bit of Prisma just to dress her up a little bit. I'm going to press it into the down top, top coat. Right there, beautiful. So now we're going to freeze this for 30 seconds. Whoops, look at that. I just dropped a whole bunch. Turn the hand upside down, let itself level out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But Peaches doesn't really come here that often. I actually don't like having any dogs here. <laughs> she came with my dad because he came to pick me up, but usually there's no animals here. But Peaches isn't really an animal, she's a human, she thinks. Right, Peaches? Peaches! <laughs> She's got Betty Davis eyes. So now we're going to do one more layer of Dom Top and we're going to float it on top of everything and really give you that encapsulated phalange fantasy. Look at that, look at that surface structure. Can you see the light go up and down? It is so smooth. We're gonna turn the hand upside down for about 30 seconds to let itself level out before we bake it. Awesome, I hope you love it.
there she is. So let's bake this for one minute. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Are you guys loving the new products? Who is excited for the new gel top coats? After the stroke, my dad has taken a huge liking to peaches. Oh, awesome, you're gonna love Vivid Girl. She is so bright. She's ready for the Vivid Girl fantasy. Yes, this set is totally super cute. That. Look how smooth the surface is, you guys. Can you see the light go up and down the nail? It is completely seamless. So now we're going to add a little bit of Kanye Candy Cuticle Oil. And hydrate the cuticle area. And there we have it. Beautiful. Super cute today, you guys. Look at that. Super girly, super delicious cotton candy strawberry milkshake fantasy. Wonder Gel is more of a rubber top coat. Dom Top is a thick hard gel top coat. So it is a very hard, very firm gel top coat that is thick to encapsulate everything. Well, that's going to be a wrap for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't forget to visit enocouture.com and check out all the incredible new products that we dropped. And I will see you guys in the next live video. Bye, everybody.